All right, so I have this whole bag full of just costumes, stuff that I've acquired throughout the years. And mostly it's for like uh, Halloween. And I have a few things that I think might be kind of cool. This looks good, right? Probably use these boots. I could totally be a dwarf. <laughs> Do I look good yet? I look like some kind of pirate boxer. Or maybe like a pirate knight. Oh, the kingdom. This is a pillowcase. All right, cool. So the costume isn't like super bad. I thought it was going to be worse than this. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to jump into Photoshop and see what I can do with this. All right, guys. So for this first layer, the background, I made sure to get an image that kind of matched the subject and the lighting after that i just cut out this rock i added a color balance adjustment layer by going adjustment layer color balance clip that to the rock layer by pressing this button so the rock was a little bit off in color so i went ahead and added a new layer and put that into soft light blending mode and just painted with a dark red color uh, just to give it a little bit more consistency and I clip that to the layer below by pressing alter option and in between the layers. All right. So for this layer, I'm going to just paint with a normal blending mode, uh, just colors from the sky to better match the scene. And there's this orange light on the subject. So I'm going to try to make this side a little bit more orange to kind of replicate that light coming in. So I just put a screen blending mode painted with an orange color and the next one's gonna be overlay. So I wanted to kind of make this like a desert cyberpunk look. So I wanted a sniper. Um, so I just added this and I clipped a color balance adjustment layer to that and made it yellow and red to match the scene. The blacks were off, so I went up in the mid tones to match the scene a little bit better. I went ahead and put a exposure adjustment layer, reduce the exposure and painted just in the bottom area. Uh, this is just a normal blending mode layer with uh, colors around the scene. This is, I just painted with this color here just the tip right there. All right, so with this layer, the cutout wasn't really matching the background. I had a little bit of darkness in there, so I just painted with a brush where that darkness, darkness was. Uh, this is the same thing, uh, just a normal blending mode layer, and I painted with colors around the scene. Uh, I just added a color balance adjustment layer on top of all of this and made it yellow and red to match lighting. I just painted a little bit brighter on the edges, the subject. This adjustment layer is just a curves adjustment layer. And I went down and just colored in the spots that were a bit too bright. And the same thing here, I went up and colored in the things that were too dark. All right, so for this group here, I wanted to give it a kind of a glitch effect. So I just compiled everything on the subject from the sniper all the way to right here by selecting everything by pressing shift and pressing controller command, alter option plus E to group everything into a new layer. And with that layer, I just double click the layer and uncheck blue and green to make that one just reds. So this is what that does. And then this one is just green, and then this one is just blue. All right, so with this layer, I just uh, use the move tool by pressing V and slightly moving it to the side. Then I'll do that with, with this one, except the other direction, and then this one a little bit further in the other direction. And that way, I have a little bit of a glitch effect. All right, so I wanted to add tattoos and the way I did it is I just got these tattoos with a white background. So I added that and I put that into multiply blending mode and I added a levels adjustment layer and clipped it to that um, to match the blacks. So the blacks are more gray if you uh, slide this uh, towards white. And I just continued to do that and place them onto the scene. 
All right, so for this, I just added um, a little bit of an effect to the knife. I just painted really carefully the, the shape of the knife and I put that layer into screen blending mode. You can't see any black in screen blending mode. Uh, and I clipped a photo to that and put that into screen blending mode as well. So now the knife has a little bit of a cool effect. All right, so I got this HUD effect from uh, footagecrates.com. They have a bunch of cool stuff on there, so check that out um, if you want to. So I just added this uh, to my shoulder just to make it look like a shoulder pad. And I duplicated that by pressing Control or Command J and put that into Linear Dodge Add. I also added a Gaussian Blur at 23 to kind of give it a bloom effect. Also, I reduced that fill to 34%. All right, so for this, it's just a screen blending mode layer with a blue color with a really, really soft brush to just kind of give it a bloom effect on the shoulder. All right, so I compiled everything into a new layer by pressing Control or Command, Alt or Option plus Shift plus E, and it will compile everything. I went ahead and put that into a smart object. I went to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and I'll just let you look at the settings that I used. All right, so for the next part, I'm just gonna go to adjustment layer, color balance adjustment layer, and I will go to the shadows. I'll add some magenta and a little bit of blue, double click that layer and take that out of the highlights. So I'm just gonna do the sh shadows on this layer and I just press Alt or Option to separate the arrows and took that out of the highlights. All right, so for this color balance adjustment layer, I went into the highlights and put some yellows in there and some reds, double click that layer, and I took that out of the shadows so I could target just the highlights. I added a selective color adjustment layer and increased the reds so the opposite of cyan is red. I added another selective color adjustment layer, and this time I went into the cyans and increased that by quite a bit. I added another selective color adjustment layer, and this time I went into the blues. All right, so the, for this exposure layer, I noticed that the shadows were a little too dark for my taste on this image. So I increased the exposure by 0.19, and I double clicked that layer and took that out of the highlights because it was too much in the highlights, but I wanted that uh, sh those shadows to come up a little bit. All right, so for this is just a color dodge blending mode layer. And I added some bloom here, some bloom here, and a little bit of bloom here. Reduce that fill to 17%. Uh, this one's just green. Uh, I just wanted to add onto that bloom effect and I uh, reduced the opacity to 41%. Um, this is a soft light blending mode layer. And I added a red color and lightly painted on the face in some of the areas that looked a, a, a little bit flat. All right, so uh, the next part is sharpening. So what I do is press Control or Command, Alt or Option, plus Shift plus E to compile everything into a new layer. Right click the layer, convert to Smart Object, Filter, Other, High Pass. And I'll go to about 50 on the first one and I'll put that into Soft Light Blending Mode and reduce the opacity to 63% and that way there's some sharpening in the image and that varies uh, with each image. Sometimes I go down to like 20%. All right, so it's just the same thing on this one, except for uh, this one is just for the face. So I did the high pass at 2.5 pixels um, and I masked out everything except for the face. So for the noise layer, I just press alter option plus the new layer tab and put that into soft light blending mode and fill with 50% gray. Uh, right click, convert to smart objects and filter noise, add noise. And I do that at 20% on uniform. Um, 
for this image specifically. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will try and answer any questions you guys got. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. I would very much appreciate that. If there's something that you would like to see me edit, uh, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely give that a try. Also, if you would like me to see any of your art, feel free to tag me on Instagram at jfarmphoto. I would love to see that. That's all I have for you guys. Have a good one.